easy thing, but he landed it perfectly. Watch it, fans. This was awesome. This thing is too real, my life. Let me hear you. Hey, Monster Jam fans. Tom Metz, driver of Max D, Monster Jam's only 12 time World Finals champion. Let me show you these cool Spin Master toys. I love the orange chassis look. One day we'll have to do that gecko on a Max D truck. Another one that's really neat and cool, new, but when you get it wet, it changes colors. It's really cool that Spin Master's taking it to another level. One that I'm really excited about that they're building is the Max D Matte Black. That one's for the Monster Jam World Finals 19. I don't think any of the fans knew it was coming when it rolled out on top of that dump truck. Really cool chrome spikes that really set it off. I love this lineup from Spin Master. They're a lot of fun. I mean, you can do a lot of cool things. Catch big air, jump over other Monster Jam trucks. Put on your own little mini freestyle. One of my favorite things to do is huge stunts. It's a lot easier to develop a ramp in a small size before you ever try to build it to a full size. Trust me, we had made this model. We made the stunt ramp. It helps trucks do forward momentum backflips. So it is one of my favorite stunts. It's very cool truck hits here, brings it into a wheelie, the wet ramp lays down. Huge backflip. This truck hits it, hits the ramp, bang! Huge backflip. Rotates completely around, lands on the down ramp. And then the last Max D comes, hits the ramp, pow! Spins around as well. I mean, you can come up with all kinds of creative ideas. How to get your Max D to do an amazing stunt. Today I want to talk about one of the hardest tricks I've ever done. One of the hardest tricks I've ever had to do. It's the container popper to moonwalk to backflip. That's a big word for a stunt. It's a lot to talk about. One of the biggest challenges of the stunt is to get the truck to back up perfectly straight and square up onto the container. You get it vertical, then you let it roll forward, and then you hit the brakes. When it goes forward, you give it a little gas. When it goes backwards, sometimes you gotta stick it in reverse. You're actually, your crew chief will help you know when you're gonna contact the container. You know, you gotta let the truck fall down a little bit. With speed, you have to hit the container. Back tires have to hit it first. And then right when it hits, you floorboard it. Spins it right around. And it makes your Spin Master toy line back on all four tires. What a cool trick. What a neat way to practice it. What a neat way to visualize it. And you know, the Spin Master toy is even cooler yet. Thanks for hanging out with me. And don't forget to check out other Drivers vs. Toys videos. I'll see you next time.